Upgrade in Windows 7 to Windows 8. First thing you're going to need to do is check the architecture of your Windows 7 install because we can't go from 32 to 64, 64 to 32. So you right click on Computer and Grid Properties. You can see here I've got a 64 bit operating system and you need to make sure that your installation media is the same. So once you've got that, you're going to pop your installation media in and then just run it, um, the DVD here. And once you click on the DVD, it's going to start preparing. It couldn't be easy upgrading to Windows 8 um, from XP Vista or 7 um, to 8. Uh, I would recommend doing the updates, um, though I'm not going to for the purpose of this, because um, it's just going to shorten it. Um, you're next going to have to enter your product key. I've just fuzzed the screen a little bit there so you can't see mine. So just punch your product key in that's on uh, with your installation media and click next. Um, read the terms, you're going to have to accept them. And then you can choose what you want to keep when you migrate. Um, if you're upgrading, I would Take the top one to keep everything. Um, if you only want to keep your files and not your applications, middle or nothing, the bottom. And then hit next. And um, that's pretty much all there is to it. So it's going to check you're ready to install. You do need 20 gig free space. Um, I deliberately did that so I could show you. Um, I freed space up um, and then it says ready to install. And I can go ahead and install this. You might need more if you've got more applications you're going to move over. But you're definitely going to need 20 gig of free space. Um, so it then goes into the installing stage. Um, I have sped this up for the purposes of this video. Um, it's going to take quite a while, especially if you've got a lot of files and a lot of applications to move over. And we'll do a couple of reboots during the process. Um, it's going to go into the preparing stage. And then after it's prepared, it's going to start moving your files and your settings and your applications across. You can see the new Windows 8 logo there as well. And the new interface, which does look good. So install your drivers. Also, if you're going to get all the latest updates, it's going to have to download them, which is going to make the process a lot longer, which is why I didn't do it in the video. But I would advise doing that. Okay, so then we've installed it, and we can choose our settings. We can begin by choosing colors. And um, There's quite a few personalization options with Windows 8, but I'm just going to use Express ones for the purpose of this video, and they're all quite self-explanatory. So I'm just going to use Express settings here rather than customizing it. Um, and I'm just going to skip the settings to personalize it for my um, my live account, which you can sign into your computer rather than just a standard username and password. It's just going to configure the PC, as you can see on screen here. I've sped this up again for the video purposes. And in a short while, it's going to install the apps, and then we should be brought to the desktop. It's going to look very, very different to what you're used to. Um, but once you get the hang of it, it, it works quite well, um, and if you transition to a tablet, it's going to be a lot nicer to use for the touch. And um, here's the new interface, so you've got your Metro UI, um, this is your new start menu, and you can scroll across here, um, just select the apps as you want, it's got some pre-installed ones, and you can go to the app store and um, install, more, install more if you need to, um, whatever takes your fancy, and uh, integrates very, very nicely with Hotmail if you use that. Um, and SkyDrive and that sort of thing. Enjoy. Thanks for watching.